lovelies. So I'm having dinner, which is ice cream. Ah, oh, the exciting life of being chronically ill. Actually, you know what? Some people probably would like this, having ice cream for dinner. But it's not fun. You don't, you don't, you think you do, but you don't. Um, it's like pretty much the only thing I can eat because it's 11 o'clock at night. But anyways, um, I wanted to talk about True Blood, which is actually, it used to be a huge obsession of mine. I used to get on and like watch an episode every single day. I would buy the season, which was crazy. Um, but then I stopped watching it. So I finished the season. I literally had to force myself to watch the rest of it. What is this? Do y'all know what makes me, this is sorry, this is a huge tangent right now, but I don't know if you guys, you, I, probably, I do a really good job covering this up, but I used to have my head shaved, right? I actually used to have it shaved all the way down and then I grew this out and now I just have, and then I just had this shaved and um, because I have so much hair and it was just easier to wash and stuff and it was in style like Ellie Golding, who's one of my favorite singers, she had it and um, but freaking, I just saw Demi Lovato, my friend sent me a link at, of her singing live and she had it shaved and I was like, great, I'm going to be growing mine out just as it becomes popular again. And it's so hard for me not to shave this too because it just like, it makes me hotter and like it just is a huge difference. But it's getting, when my hair is super short, it really waves a lot. So I'm sorry, I have to pick my dog up. I'll show you what she does because she's crying. Oh, hello. It's okay. Oh, you have a little animal? She doesn't play with them. My dog has never played with um, toys ever in her whole life. She's 11 years old now. And she just recently started rescuing animals. Like if they're on the floor, she goes and finds them. And then she like puts them on our bed and just like, um, what's the word, hoards them. And then like gets really worried if like my parents come in my room or if another dog because she thinks they're going to like take the toys, which they have to because they're the dog's toys. Like they actually play with them, but she rescues them. So I bought her like a whole bunch of these um, really inexpensive toys because I was like, I don't want these grungy toys that like our dogs really, we have terriers, so they really play with them. And um, so I got her these like cute ones and she won't touch them. But then the other dogs got a hold of them because I was like, oh, I'll just let them play with them for a day because you know, the ones that are so cheap, they don't last. And then she started rescuing them. Like we have, oh, where's that one? It's like a part of one. It's like half of a creature. I don't know. It's really weird. But I don't know if any of your guys' dogs have ever done that. She's never touched a bone. She's never sniffed a toy until she was about like 11 years old. And then all of a sudden she just started, like I documented it a little bit because she started like petting them and like touching, like she would put her paw on it. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> um, of course, like when you get a dog, like I got her all sorts of toys and stuff, and she was like, uh, "Mom, what are these dog toys doing here? I'm not a dog." Um, but now she's like really into it, so I don't know if she's getting into her motherly instinct or what have you. But back to True Blood. So I used to really, really like it, and I'm not going to do any spoilers. I should, I'll put that in the description. I'm not doing any spoilers because I know a lot of people aren't up to date, but the seventh season just ended and the series is now over, so hopefully you all watched it, but if not, I won't spoil it for you. Um, I really, really had to force myself through it, and I really, really wanted to punch the TV when I watched the last episode like it made me really angry I hated the way it ended and the thing is is that it got really disgusting and like it always was like a lot of sex because Jason was like always like screwing someone different and like that wasn't like a big deal to me at the beginning but like 
the sex got like a really out of hand. Not that like I think it. Sh I don't think it needed it at all. Although Jason's butt is really nice, but like I don't think they really needed it at all. But um, Suki was always like this very like virginal character, and then she like went and screwed like pretty much everybody. And it's like I don't know if she screwed everybody, but um. She kind of lost her, like, innocent, like, <laughs> hillbilly, like, appeal to me when she started, like, I really missed that, like, first Suki. And, um, I never read the books because I was qu quite a long ways through, um, the series when I actually, I didn't even know it was a book series, which is really sad. <laughs> I hate when that happens because I'm like, oh... That hurts my, like, book nerd self. Um, but I looked them up and I was kind of like, eh. I mean, Sookie kind of annoyed me, to be honest with you. But at least, like, there was a part of her that I'm like, okay, rescue her. She's, like, kind of dim-witted and, like, weird and, you know, just this really innocent character. But after a while, it was just like, okay, I get it. But, um, yeah, the ending, I absolutely hated it. Um, you know another thing that bothers me, and this is like, oh, I stopped watching Supernatural for a really long time because one, and this, I can say this is no spoilers because freaking there are so many people that die in Supernatural, but there was one specific character that was my favorite, might not be everybody's favorite, and it might not be like a really like, of course that was your favorite character, but it was my favorite character, and I said, if they kill that character, I'm not watching the show anymore. And I get, like, really stubborn about these things. So my mom and I used to watch it every single day. And because we would order them on Netflix. Can you remember when they used to, like, order the CDs and they would come to your house and you'd watch them? Um, and so we'd watch them every day. And they killed that character. And so I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not watching it anymore. So my mom continued to watch it, but I never did. And um, so, but... I've had time to heal and just move past it and um it's good it's I mean it's kind of some same stuff over and over and over again but um I just there's just certain things in that I wish that the writers would just stay away from like if it ain't broke don't fix it and like there are these certain characters or relationships that are really special to you as a viewer and I just wish that they wouldn't mess that up like I don't understand the need for that like it's so like innovative and cool and different and it's like no it just makes you really angry and like now I feel like even though the I know like the first couple seasons maybe up to like five or six seasons no that would be way too many for like three or four seasons I like really liked the show and now I just look back at it and I say, like, if anyone asks me, I'd be like, oh, I don't like True Blood. Because of the way it ended. Like, the very last episode. Like, they just should have done something for the, um, characters that, like, gave us some kind of, like, closure. Or, like, yeah, at least one of them. Not that I'm saying, like, everybody died or anything, but I'm just saying, like, at least one of them like is gonna have a happy life and like really excited about that like I think they kind of made like a last-ditch effort at one of them but it was kind of like I've been so over that for so long that like I don't even really care but who knows but those are just my thoughts on true blood without spoiling so I should do some of these that are spoilers so that I can actually like talk in depth because for people that have seen it are kind of probably like who is it? What happened? What do you mean? Um, my dinner is melting, so I should probably go. Ugh. Ugh. Um, I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And, um, sending out X-00s. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!